Hello all, welcome in this SAP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to do any changes in approved purchase requisition. Sometime purchase requisition is approved, but we need to do any changes due to any reason, either in the quantity, either in the price, right? Generally, the price which we are taking in the purchase requisition is the without GST price because there is a no provision to update the GST uh, tax code here. Okay, we will update the tax code condition in the purchase order. So, I um, again says that the price here is without GST price. Okay, for this, we have a SAP transaction code. ME54N which you need to execute by PR approving authority or having the sufficient PR uh, rules okay fill the purchase requisition number click on the release strategy then cancel both R2 and R1 flag and click on the save okay Now open the PR in the ME52N. ME52N is a SAP transaction code to changes any purchase requisition. Okay. Change the requisite details and save. Then again approve the purchase requisition using workflow. If this purchase requisition while cancelling the R1 and R2 flight came in your inbox, then you can again reinitiate your purchase requisition to your competent authority for approval. If that is not available in your inbox, then you can uh, directly approve using ME54N from the competent authority and attach the requisite documents in the document attach section in attachment section right so we will see how to do this activity uh, sap transaction code me54n here you need to fill the purchase requisition using this option okay then click on the cancel okay now see both r1 and r2 flag is cancel okay now execute the transaction code me52n and uh, our purchase requisition is same here see these fields are now editable you can change the price here you can change the quantity here. You can change the sort text name here. You can change anything here. Okay. Because now this purchase requisition is in editable mode. Okay. I have saved this. Now, if you, after saving the details, if I want to uh, change the price 1.50, then you can again change. Okay. So, depending on the, your requirement, you can change this data. And see, once this purchase requisition is uh, changes, then again go on the release strategy in header tab. Again go in the release strategy. Uh, either you can approve the purchase requisition using workflow. Either you can approve the purchase requisition using ME54N. So this is the way how you can uh, uh, approve your uh, purchase requisition and uh, complete the task. Okay. Hope this uh, SAP tutorial is useful for you. Okay. And please share this knowledge with your uh, colleagues and friends which are working in your organization because uh, knowledge sharing is getting. Knowledge sharing is very important. Okay. Because uh, you have this software in your company and uh, knowledge is sufficient or requisite knowledge is not available to the concerned staff or employees. So, this is not uh, useful for you okay so please share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues okay hope you 
find this tutorial is useful for you if you have any query on mind please mention in the comment section and if this tutorial is useful for you please uh, mention in your comment section okay have a good day